Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of May 30th through this June 6th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel and helping it grow as well as those who have watched my videos and give them thumbs up and left comments. Thank you again. And you're starting out with the Four of Pentacles. So holding back on your spending this week, watching your P's and Q's, making sure you don't overspend your yourself. Maybe you're holding yourself back a little bit, just trying to, you know, make sure you have enough in the future. And the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a lucky card. You know, there's plenty of work here, you know, tangible materials and gains. You know, you're having material gains. For some of you, this is uh, going to be a, a week where you start to take care of your health a little bit better. Maybe you've not been doing that very well. And the Knight of Pentacles. So taking a trip somewhere for yourselves, maybe taking a walk around the park or, you know, in some cases, a lot of people like to go uh, mountain biking or just hiking, that sort of thing. You know, just something that makes you feel good. You like to get out in the forest sometimes if you can do it. Just get away for your yourself and your well-being. And the Nine of Swords. So you have a lot of things floating around in your head here. This could have been something at work while you're feeling that you, the need to escape this week. You know, so you're tossing and turning, maybe... You said something and they said something and it's left you with not very clear actions on which way you're going forward with this. So you're losing a little bit of sleep. You're not sure how to handle this matter in some cases. You're wondering, do I say something or not? But it's keeping you up at night, which isn't good. You need your, your sleep to in order to have clarity and good health in your life. So you're going to deal with it. And the Queen of Wands. So some sort of successful adventure you're taking action on. Maybe you're thinking of opening your own business here going forward. Or you've already started that. Maybe you've taken a position in the job that you're already in. And you're, you know, more uh, in the manager position. You know, watching over the fellow workers, that sort of thing. Or making sure the jobs are getting done on time in the right way. And the king. So there you go. Most definitely taking some sort of motivation this week in regards to your confidence and your clarity. You're making some um, really good plans for yourself going forward. Some of you are taking a um, making plan for a trip for yourself. Just a short trip. Something that you enjoy. Something that you want to do. But you're doing it because it makes you happy, you know, and that's your, your fire sign. So you're full of energy about it and you're motivating to getting it done. And you're taking action on making sure that it's, it's going to happen because it's what you want. And the four of cups. So there you are. You know, you're a little bit bored, you're a little bit restless, however you want to say it. You know, you're just sort of sitting there wondering, you know, I know I'm happy with where I am and what I have in my life. But I'd like a little bit more. So you're just sort of looking at yourself now going, okay, you know, I'm making sure I eat right and I'm drinking plenty of water, but I'm still not totally consent with my life. So I'm, you know, you're having a little bit of discomfort that way, but you're also trying to get that under wraps and there's more on offer as well. And the world card. So you come to some sort of finish line this week some sort of conclusion in your life something that you're you know you're on the right path for going forward for yourself you know you've gotten a lot farther than you would have thought you have this far in your life but now you're realizing that I'm finished with that part of it now and I want to try something totally different so you're moving on in that form and the Six of Pentacles. So there you are. You know, you have plenty there. You're, you know, you're not for lack of want in anything in your life. You have, 
you're feeling very content and fulfilled. You know, maybe there's money coming in for some of you here as well. You're starting to get a little more clarity on what you want in your life. And you're willing to share, you know, whether that's your knowledge, financially, just giving a hand sometimes when somebody, you know, can't cut their lawn and you decide to go over and, you know, your friend's doing their, their cutting their lawn and you're weeding the, the flower bed, that sort of thing. But you're doing it because it makes you feel good and them as well. And the devil card. So the worst is all over. You've made some pretty big decisions this week. You've put out very clear boundaries for some people in your life. Now that can be, like I said, in the job or in your personal life. You know, you have clear intentions. You're avoiding people, places and things that just don't make you happy. You know, you, you see on the call display that somebody's phoning you and it's like, oh, I don't want to talk to them, that sort of thing. So you're just learning to be okay with yourself, not feeling obligated to everybody in the world. You know, nobody's allowed to guilt you into anything this week because you know what you want to do. You know where you want to go, who you want to have there. So good on you. And you're realizing what's held you back for a long time. So you're letting that go as well. And the Empress. So there it is. Beautiful. You know, starting with new fresh ideas. Abundance is there. Good jobs. Um, good health for some of you. Uh, this could be that, you know, congratulations is in order because you're um, anticipating a new addition to the family. Maybe you've gotten yourself uh, with a little one. Or this could be an adoption for some of you. A new project that's getting off the ground that's just starting to show some real potential and light going forward. Your health is starting to return. You're just feeling that more optimistic this week once you, you know, realize that you've finished with different areas of your life and you've come to, you know, peace of mind with it. You're also realizing that there's newer, better, and more prosperous things coming in to my life now. You know, you've forgiven different people for different things. You've forgiven yourself as well. And you're moving forward. So, wow, good on you. And the Wheel of Fortune. So there it turns. You know, for some of you, you're going to be lucky. This is like hitting the lottery ticket for some. You know, not huge wins. Just enough to give you that breathing room. This could be a pay raise or both. You know, new love in your life. You know, you're embarking on a new career, career change for some of you in a whole new avenue and way of life and it working out really well. And you can see, you know, the smile return to your life and, you know, your better health and you're just feeling more in love with life that you haven't done for quite some time. So that's beautiful. And the Nine of Cups, so there it is. You know, wish fulfillment, moving forward, money's on its way, new careers, good friends. You know, maybe you've made this wish that a long time ago that you had this sort of stuff in your life and then all of a sudden, you know, wow, there it comes, like almost out of the blue, but it's not because you've anticipated, you dreamed about it, and you've wanted it, and now it's coming to your your life. So that's gorgeous. You know, it looks like it's almost divinely being orchestrated in your favor that, you know, your life starts to change with the world. Things start to go, you know, getting done and over with for some places. You've come to peace of mind. You're starting over with fresh new ideas and outlooks in life. You know, and this is people, places and things, in some cases, even family, you know, new jobs, your horizons are endless and bountiful. So, wow, it's a beautiful, beautiful day for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are very positive. You know, you have love on offer here. You've put up clear boundaries. You're moving forward. You're taking trips. So you've got a lot of uh, growth this week. 
All right. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Why isn't that befitting? And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.